Hello everybody, the topic of discussion for today will be the Frank Hurst experiment. The experiment was first done in 1914 by two men named James Frank and Henry Hertz. The experiment was so significant in the physics community, the whole world recognized the act, and that both men won a Nobel Peace Prize. This experiment was so significant because it proved two theories. The first one being the quantum theory, in which that states that all matter have different movements, behaviors, and energy on an atomic level and or subatomic level. Another theory that was proved was a Bohr model of, of the quantum energy levels, and it shows that because there are different behaviors in the atom, when an electron absorbs energy, it gets excited and will start jumping energy levels, and when it returns, the electrons will emit colors, and that all depends on the behavior of the electron. The Frank Hertz experiment is conducted in a vacuum tube at a temperature of around 115 degrees Celsius. A drop of mercury and or neon is added. Because of the temperature, the drops will turn into a vapor. Now let's focus on the electrons. Because the apparatus is being electrocuted, the electrons will get excited because they absorb the energy, in which this will result in the movement of the electrons. If the electrons have enough energy, it will go through the positive grid and reach the collecting plate, which was negative. The energy plate will measure the currents of the electrons. For the electrons that did not pass the grid, they'll just fall back and lose energy. Elastic collisions are very common, and if an atom collides with a gas atom, there will be no change in energy. That would be an elastic collision. As the heat rises, then comes to a consistent temperature, the collision will start to become inelastic, which will therefore raise the kinetic energy of the atom. This will slow down the electron, but as it starts to move toward the grid, the energy starts to increase once again because of the voltage. Inelastic collisions usually happen at around 4.9 volts. As seen on the graph, as the voltage of the system increases, the more currents are tracked because the electrons have more energy absorbed. That allows it to go past the positive grid. There are also drops in the graph which represent the inelastic collisions that happen in the apparatus. Thanks for watching guys, hope you guys learned quite a bit about the Frank Hertz experiment.